वेलकम टू ऑल माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर देशमुख एम एस गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट द थ्री लेक्चर्स ऑन कंट्रोल ऑफ वाइब्रेशंस नाउ इंट्रोडक्शन टू द कंट्रोल ऑफ वाइब्रेशंस सो वाट एक्जैक्टली द केस इट इज सेट ऑफ टेक्निकल मीन्स टू सिस्मिक इम्पैक्ट इन द बिल्डिंग्स एंड नॉन बिल्डिंग स्ट्रक्चर्स दैट कैन बी कंट्रोल बाय मीन्स ऑफ द वाइब्रेशंस पैरामीटर्स Uh, there have been the two category that is passive and uh, the active controls depends upon the situations is available we are providing the active or the passive control now then again these are the practical examples of the vibration control uh, c the shaft which carries the winding uh, which having some uh, rotations that is the linear motions uh, and uh, one of the diagram is showing here that is a wind wind motors can be controlled uh, by by means of the um, air and the vibrations which carries that can be controlled by means of the different methods these are the steps of the vibration control that is first that is system modeling second measurement and estimation then again last that is control so what exactly in the system modeling how the system is model that you have to consider then again how accurate model should be chosen for the vibrations control how it can be measured and estimated so which parameter we have to decide that part can be considered in the measurement part which depends upon the model structures again control so how to control that that we have to consider then again depends upon the model structure and the measurement the control is depend now the, these are the methods of the vibrations control that is active control and second that is a passive control so what exactly in the active control the active control device is incorporate the real time and also these are the recording instrument on the ground integrated earthquakes if there is a earthquake vibrations is there under that condition they are having some input processing equipment and actuators with the structures and it can be also applicable of the force of the equal and opposite fashions uh, force may be the external uh, external force and that can be the vibrate and many of the precision industries processes can be controlled uh, with some vibrations different machinery which carries the vibrations and that can be a need to control for example they are given the production of semiconductor vapors of the different machines now what exactly the passive control uh, there is a no feedback what in the active case that is a feedback is required while in the case of the passive the no feedback uh, is required is capability between them and structural elements if there is structural vibrations will be there under that condition we have to consider the no feedback and again some uh, passive vibration uh, control methods the protecting the cultural heritage objects against the ambient vibrations and earthquakes so uh, in the passive vibrations some heritage that is some um, social uh, things that can be protected uh, with the control of the this vibrations some specific structure that we can say that now these are the comparative points that is passively and actively control how it will be controlled the in the case of passively the chip to design and maintain works well only on the small frequency while in the uh, actively the actuator added to systems expert opposite force to damp the vibrations also the more effective on the all frequencies and for the all kinds of disturbances some expensive to the design and maintenance in the case of the actively uh, now again some lump uh, parametric uh, the system that we have to seen then again distributed parameters so these are the two uh, the comparative points we can say that uh, now this is the mechanical uh, the example that is shaft uh, vibrations control two bearings are there and in the between this two bearing we are mounting the shaft over the shaft there we are having the some disc and uh, uh, with the rotation of disc there is something vibrations of this uh, the shaft in vertically upward and downward directions some with angular omega uh, with angular velocity we can say that and the mx double dot plus cx dot plus kx mx square cos t plus phi these are the some graphs 
examples we can say that this is all about the control of the vibrations